Hello and welcome to another scum tutorial guys. Today we are going to take care of getting the C4 parts from the puppets. I will give you some tip on tip and tricks that I use to get safely with absolutely no risk of getting damage from the puppets and uh, how to get them very easily. Now this trick only, well, mostly works on a uh, server that have the setting on which you can build anywhere. So currently I'm in single player and in single player you can, from the get go, you can build anywhere on a server. So right now on the map, obviously I am at the spot that spawned the most amount of exploding puppets in the tightest area. So they are very easy to get to. And this is usually probably where I get most of my, uh, my C4 parts anyway when I go and decide to farm them. I usually focus on the kill box and when once I've got enough part, I just go and get the, the puppets done. And I usually wait until I get at least medium of demolition skill to be able to do them, otherwise it gets a bit too hard. You don't quite get enough time to get them. But if you want to start it from the start and you are not too confident about it, you just start with advanced demo. Uh, getting to medium is not difficult, Getting to advanced demo takes, takes quite a fair bit of time. All right, so let's get straight into it. So weapon of choice, other compound bow. You can use the other bow if you prefer, but to me, definitely to keep it silent and not make any noises at all whatsoever to not attract all the other exploring puppets, I will use the black oak crossbow. All right, so I'm gonna take him out with my crossbow. No, I can hear one very close, and sometimes you gotta be careful, particularly at the gymnasium. They are, they can be stuck inside this wall here, right here, okay? So if that's the case, just... I can't get a rock from this one. Just attract them closer, make some noise. Usually that's enough to get them out of inside the wall when they get stuck in it. There you go, see? Alright, now let's get him to come to us. A bit closer. I know, you had a family. <laughs> if you guys are wondering who did the voices, this is Beta, developer, developer named Beta, and that's his actual love. They got him drunk to do that quite a fair bit, so that's kind of funny. Alright, big boy, come over to Papa. So, let's go ahead and. Shoot him in the head. Now what you guys are going to do is... Can be done with any skill and we're gonna actually build a wall on top past his foot. 0 0.9 if possible. We're gonna fill it up with everything. And then we can safely disarm and look at that. Even if I fail, this one is a red one. I did not take any damage. So um, my advice is to destroy it after you have done, so you don't show it to too many people. Although that's gonna be in the video, so who cares? <laughs> it's gonna be known and it's probably gonna fix it anyway eventually. But you obviously, at the gym, you can, uh, on most places, even the service station, you can only do that uh, where you can build. You can't build, like if you do that on an official server, you will have to use that rock, that, that the trick of the rock, of throwing a rock and attracting uh, that puppet and not hopefully not have any others coming coming with him and attract them away from the service station without making it start to be which can be hard but you can do that if you are solo and uh, you can get your parts doing like this okay and then you can resell them people always go after those and uh, you can always otherwise uh i don't know go and blow up some bases even as a solo some people are skilled enough to do that so this is my trick. I'll repeat this one. We run fast enough so that we lose them without making them beep. This one keeps seeing us, so we are good. I don't know why he's looking behind him. Just make sure you don't attract the users. I'm gonna set the gun mode because I don't have the any more planks but you just need to, to to be able to set up a wall that's gonna be from the legs always from the legs do 0 0.9 fill it up and you're safe to disarm it you go ahead you 
can fail. And there you go. I'm not, that did not take any damage. Now, of, of course, I'm going to shoot one. I'm going to let the other one come to me and blow up. So my advice is, if you can, is to wear this, this armor and the helmet. Because this way you get plenty of health left, okay? And usually you can patch, you get one to two injury at most. So this time it's three, but I see one, we, we can ignore it. I would be able to patch that if I, if I was taking care of it, okay? Or if I use... Do I have it? I do. One of these. The Phoenix Tears, body 29. Everything goes into stabilization and you are good to go. Okay, now I'm gonna give you my tips on how I managed to disarm uh, the puppets or when I do the kill box or the doors. Doors are a lot easier, obviously. The puppets are a bit more scary because they can blow you up. But uh, my tip to do it is very simple. Is when I start, start it, I get ready. Obviously, every time it's gonna be a different one. Uh, I train myself both on 5 and 4 seconds, sometimes uh, even at 3 for the fun of it, but the way you do it, you can move the, down the time by using the arrow up and down, so you can add more time if you are very new to it, you can all, all go all the way up, I don't know, I have never, I never went more than uh, 5 seconds, but you can, you can move it up and down, so let's go and keep it at 5, uh, press space to start and press escape to exit. So the way I do it is I actually keep my mouse on the left side. So I'm gonna see you. I'm, I'm keeping my mouth on the left side here and I move up and down. You will see me do that all nearly all the time. 90% of the time that's the way I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing it. So I just move it up and down. And the only thing I'm gonna move is my eyes. So I can do top one, was one, the one at the bottom and so on. All right, so now let's do it in practice. You can follow it like this. When it's fairly easy, it's fine. Sometimes it gets a bit more complicated. And now what I do is just leave my eyes, uh, leave my mouse on the left inside, and then I just follow with my eyes where the green wire is. I don't always, I do about, probably have about 80 to 90% uh, success rate in total. Probably more closer to 80-ish percent, I'd say. Because some can be really uh, difficult, but if I'm on, I have three seconds left, okay? Some of them are a bit harder. And I took my time on this one, really. It was, if this was on the hard one. But you gotta under the trust, obviously, follow the wire. But when it gets very messy, that's where it can be, get complicated to do. And then you can you have to move your mouse a lot more instead of just up and down. You can miss the wire when you cut it. Because if you are not exactly like if you see, oh, well, I got lucky that was one, but it needs to be really on top of it to, for it to be cut. So you got to be careful with that. So see, like I just did. I knew, I knew which one it was, but I just missed it up. Well, no, I would have had like four, four seconds left, to be honest. Like I just did again. That's the way I do it. And there's no stress. There's no risk of someone shooting me uh, while I'm doing it. I disarm a lot of people's own bombs when I go in uh, red bases. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's quite fun to do once you manage to do it. All right, up to you now. So this is the way I do it. Uh, my teammates are probably gonna hate me for that, but that's the way you can easily get uh, your C4 pass from the puppets without taking any any uh, any damage if you fail. So if you are a solo, that's perfect. All right, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.